Let's talk about the Android experience in Windows 11. So there is a new feature in Windows 11 called Windows Subsystem for Android, which lets you run Android apps on Windows 11 PC natively. To use this feature, you'll have to download Amazon App Store app from Microsoft Store. In this video, I'm going to talk about how's the Android apps and games experience in Windows 11, how's the performance, and is it better than the Android emulators. All of your questions will be answered in this video. Windows 11 Android system comes with the Amazon App Store. So there is no Google Play Store and you can't install Google Play Store. Even if you can install it, you can't use it. It's not like you can't install and use Google Play Store. There is a whole another process to install Google Play Store on Windows 11. Actually, I have made a video in this topic. So if you're interested in how to install Google Play Store on Windows 11, then I will put a link in the description. You can go there and watch that. Compared to Google Play Store, Amazon has less apps and games. So this is one of the biggest issue because you won't be able to find all Android games and apps. But the good thing is that you can sideload any APK file easily so there is no restriction on installing any type of apk file but the apps and games which requires you to have a google play services those apps will not work for example youtube app will not work without play services now one of the best thing about android system on windows 11 is that android games and apps do feel like windows apps they feel like they are native applications you launch any game any app, they feel like they are the Windows applications. Now let's talk about performance. This thing is extremely resource hungry, especially on RAM. If you don't have enough RAM, it's not good for you. The minimum RAM requirement for this is eight gigabyte, but you can see it is using more than four gigabyte already without using any app or game. Even the eight gigabyte of RAM isn't enough. At least 16 gigabyte of RAM will be best. So I'm running about uh, two, three, four apps and CPU usage still at very low. So, which is a good thing. But when you start to do gaming, this is where uh, things gets a little hot. You can see I'm launching a PUBG mobile game. And even in launch, you can see, it is using around 30-40% of CPU. For some reason, PUBG Mobile is crashing again and again. So let's launch another game, Shadow Fight 3. This game is actually available on Amazon App Store. So this is also really popular and also heavy game if you want to play. And you can see it is using almost 50% of the CPU here. 40 to 50, 30, 40, 50. Okay, the real gameplay. Okay, some animations and stuff will go. Uh, CPU usage, we're gonna keep eye on that. All right. Uh, okay, uh, it's, it's actually doing not that bad. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's good. It's a little bit more than uh, what Android emulator use. I haven't done any comparison uh, with Android emulators, but I have used lots of Android emulators. So I can say it's almost the same as the Android emulators in CPU side, but in memory, it already allocates almost like four to five gigabyte of RAM. Yeah, we can say it's almost the same, okay? Now, one of the biggest question, can you game on it? 50% uh, yes, 50% no, because uh, it doesn't have any key mapping tool like the Android emulators have. So let's say, for example, if you want to play PUBG mobile game, you can't play. You can install it. You can't play. If you want to use mouse and keyboard to play the game, you cannot. But if you have a touch PC, then you can because, you know, it's an Android app and touch will work on the Android app or game. So that's that. If you want to get the best Android gaming experience on Windows 11, it's best to play uh, the games which only requires few clicks, the clickable games. Let's say, for example, Clash of Clan, uh, Clash Royale, and many other similar games. If you're a casual gamer, you don't play those heavy games like which requires lots of inputs, then this is for you. You just play Candy Crush maybe, uh, maybe Clash of Clan, something like that. 
yeah it's 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 made for you and it will give you really good performance too and another reason why windows subsystem for android is better than the android emulators is that it is running on the latest android version android 12 yes and it has the latest security patches and everything when you install any android games or apps they will be organized as a windows apps you can find them on start menu just like you find the windows applications so the windows apps and android apps gets mixed up and there is no place to organize all of your android apps in one place that's a little bit of issue maybe not maybe it's a good thing because uh, android apps and games do feel like the native windows applications and you know you, you don't have to be confused but you can fix this issue by downloading a app called my app finder or similar application or android launcher whichever works with it uh, in my opinion this is the best app if you want to organize your android applications on windows 11 uh, basically this app shows you all the installed applications in one place it's android app my app finder and it shows all the android apps and uh, i think that's it that's all there is to say yeah but if i have missed anything or if you still have any questions you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comments too yeah that's it <laughs> hope you enjoyed it uh, i will see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun bye bye